Welcome back everybody, we are on part 3, that means it's time for the rest hold, and if you're unfamiliar with what that part of the program is, that's when we take a little bit of a commercial break and promote some of the things that are going on in the world of a mango tree, smart out moment, and anything else for the affiliated projects that we want to get the word out there for. First up is Outside Interference, where I've written something for a website beyond smart out moment. This week on the Bleacher Report card, I did my usual setup where I did my review of the biggest stars of the night and the results breakdown of the biggest highlights and the low points for SummerSlam, which I do each and every pay-per-view. So make sure that you go ahead and check that. You can find the links below on the YouTube description if you're watching that there. If you want to check it elsewhere, you can find links on the Facebook and Twitter accounts for Smart Out Moment and Tony Mango. Or you can go to the homepage of SmartOutMoment.com underneath the Outside Interference section. Or you can also go to my Bleacher Report profile and find both of these articles as well as everything else that I had written in the past. But we're not done yet. There's a brand new thing that we're going to introduce here on Outside Interference and that is because the website eWrestling News has a brand new editor at large and you're listening to them. That's right, I'm going to be writing for eWrestling News and controlling some of the editorial division that they have over there. And my first article is something that I just turned out a little uh, while ago. Was SummerSlam too good for Night of Champions? Is it going to end up screwing up people's perception of the event and making that a downer? Go ahead and find that on the link below or on the outside interference section of smartcoutmoment.com and everything else like that. The same deal as what we do for the Bleacher Report card. That is outside interference for this week, which means we're going to move on to Smart My Words, where I showcase one of the comments that you guys left on the YouTube channel from the last episode. And this week, the honor goes to the Habit Man. Sasha brought back that vintage bush. Gotta love that. I never liked Eva Angelina after she shaved her head. What the fuck was that all about? Guess she got tired of hair, period. What you might not realize is what we're referencing here is we decided for some reason to talk about porn stars on the last episode and uh, we were talking about Sasha Gray and Eva Angelina. So I agree with you in a lot of different ways here. Have it, man. Sasha Gray, good stuff there. Eva Angelina shaving the head i don't know what the fuck that was about either i i can't tell you the answer to that one thank you to the happy man for sending that in thank you to everybody else for leaving your comments from last week make sure you guys do that again this week and tell us to smart your words the next edition of the monthly mailbag will be coming up on episode 148 three episodes from now so if you have any questions that you'd like to submit to us to get to know us better fill up that inbox by going to the contact form on the website Shoot us an email, and we'll answer anything that you send our way. If you are going to a wrestling event of some sort, and you want to show your support for Smart Out Moment and Smack Talk, be sure to take advantage of the Sign Me Up initiative. Just bring a sign that says SmartOutMoment.com to that event, and send me a picture or a video of it, and I'll feature you on the website in the next edition of that under the Internet Wrestling Community Outreach, just like John Bruce, who did that recently. Thank you to John Bruce for that one. If you're a fan of geeky topics like movies and video games and comic books, then you are going to be interested in my other website, fanboysanonymous.com, which you can find my opinions and the opinions of several other people that are on this Mark Out Moment team, and a bunch of others as well, on any kind of nerdy topics like this. So if you want to subscribe to the YouTube channel to hear the podcast side of things, youtube.com slash fanboysanon. You can also find that on iTunes and Stitcher. Follow the Facebook and Twitter accounts. Go check out to see what the fanboys are saying there. And one last bit of business to take care of. If you would like to join the Smart Out Moment team in some kind of a way as a writer or an editor, there's lots of positions that can be filled, so send in your application using the same contact form as the monthly mailbag questions, and I will get back to you as soon as I can with more information. That is it for the break that we have. We're going to get back to work and start reviewing everything that happened at SummerSlam 2014. So stay tuned, everybody. Click on that next video, and we'll see you there.